In this lesson, we are going to graph rotations. To begin, I have divided the grid into four quadrants using the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis. You'll recall that each quadrant is given a number. The upper right-hand quadrant is quadrant 1. Any point in quadrant 1 will have positive x-coordinates and positive y-coordinates. Moving counterclockwise around the grid, we number the remaining quadrants. The upper left-hand quadrant is quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 has negative x-coordinates and positive y-coordinates. The lower left quadrant is quadrant 3. Any point in quadrant 3 will have negative x-coordinates and negative y-coordinates. Quadrant 4 is in the bottom right. Any point in quadrant 4 will have positive x-coordinates and negative y-coordinates. It is very important that we understand the x and y values for each quadrant as we move forward with graphing rotations. Let's start by rotating triangle ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise. We're going to rotate this image about the point of origin, which is this point right here where the x and y axes cross. And we'll label this point O for origin. There are two pieces of equipment that we need in order to rotate triangle ABC. One is a protractor, the other is a ruler. We're going to start by drawing a straight line that connects point A to the origin. So connecting point A to the origin. Now you need to take the ruler and we're going to measure the length of this line connecting A to the origin and we can see it's approximately 8 units in length and we'll make note of that just off to the side A equals 8. Having done that we're now going to use our protractor to measure a 90 degree angle. We're measuring a 90 degree angle because we're rotating this image 90 degrees. So we'll rotate the protractor so the zero degrees line lines up with our line from A to the origin and now we have our 90 degree angle here and we are going to measure another line that is the same length as our first line so it's going to be 8 units in length. So drawing this line, here's 8 units in length here, we're going to connect this line to the origin and that makes our 90 degree angle. Moving the protractor and the ruler out of the way. This point up here is going to be called A prime. It is the rotated image of A. So A prime. We're going to repeat this process again for B. So select a new color and we'll start by connecting B to the origin. Once that's done, take your ruler and measure the distance or the length of B. It's approximately 2.5 units. And I'll make note of that off to the side. B equals 2.5 2.5 units. Now we need our protractor and once again we're going to measure a 90 degree angle. It's 90 degrees because our rotation is 90 degrees. So line that up and turn this so our zero degrees is along the line from B to the origin and now we can measure 90 degrees and draw a line that is 2.5 units in length connecting to the origin. So 2.5 is approximately right here. Now we can rotate this out of the way and same with our ruler. And this point here is now B prime. It is the rotated image of 
B. Label this B prime. Finally, we're going to repeat the process again for C. So choose yet another color and we'll connect C to the origin. Measure the distance with the ruler. So it's again eight units and make note of that. C equals eight. Now take the protractor, measure a 90 degree angle. And it looks like it's right there already. And we want to measure the length of eight units and draw another line connecting this point to the origin. We're actually finished with the ruler now so we can set that aside and same with the protractor so we can set that aside. Our last thing to do after we label C prime up here, so this point here is C prime, is to connect A prime, B prime, and C prime in order to recreate the image of triangle A. So connect A prime to B prime, B prime to C prime, and then C prime to A prime. There we go. So we have a rotated image, 90 degrees, counterclockwise of A, B, and C. I have inserted a table so that we can record and compare the coordinates of A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, and C prime. As I go through and record the coordinates, make note of any relationships you see between A and A prime, B and B prime, and C and C prime. Let's begin with A. The x coordinate for A is positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the coordinate for y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For B, the x coordinate is positive 1. And the y coordinate is positive 1, 2. You'll notice we always do the x coordinate first and the y coordinate second. The x coordinate for C is positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the y coordinate is positive 1. Let's do the same now for A prime, B prime, and C prime. For A prime, the x coordinate is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the y coordinate is negative is positive, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For b prime, the x coordinate is negative 2. And the y coordinate is positive 1. And for c prime, the x coordinate is negative 1. And the y coordinate is positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Take a moment now and pause the video and see if you notice any relationship between the coordinates of A, B, C and A prime, B prime and C prime. What you may have noticed, first of all, is that all the coordinates for A, B, C are positive. as positive x coordinates and positive y coordinates. This is because A, B, C is in quadrant 1 where all of the x and all of the y coordinates are positive. For A prime, B prime and C prime, you might notice that all the x coordinates are negative while all the y coordinates are positive. This is because a prime, b prime, and c prime are all in quadrant 2 where x is negative and y is positive. You may have also noticed looking at b and b prime and c and c prime that the x and y values have switched or flipped places. Let's take a look at b. For b our x coordinate is 1 and our y coordinate is 2. Looking at b prime our x coordinate is 2 and our y coordinate is 1. This negative here in front of the 2 is because b prime is in quadrant 2 where all of the x coordinates are negative. Looking at c, the x coordinate is 7 and the y coordinate is 1. And the reverse is true for c prime. The x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 7. Again, we have a negative here because c prime is in quadrant number 2. This relationship for rotating images 
will work for any rotation of 90 degrees or 270 degrees and in this case we were rotating counterclockwise. It's a little different when we rotate 180 degrees this rule does not apply. Let's take a look at another example. In this example we're going to rotate triangle DEF 270 degrees counterclockwise. This time though we are not going to use a ruler and we are not going to use a protractor to help us rotate this image. What we are going to use is our knowledge of the quadrants to help us rotate triangle DEF. Let's begin by noting the coordinates for D, E, and F. D is positive 2 and positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. E is positive 1 for x and positive 1 for y, and f is positive 2, 4, 6, 8 for x, and positive 1, 2, 3 for y. Now we know that for a 270 degree rotation, we can just flip our x and y coordinates. So for d, our y coordinate was 7, which means for d prime, our x coordinate is going to be 7. And for D, our X coordinate was 2. So for D prime, our Y coordinate is going to be 2. There's one other thing we need to consider when we're rotating this image. And that is, what quadrant will this image fall in after it's been rotated? In this case, we're rotating 270 degrees counterclockwise. So we're going to end up in quadrant 4. And in quadrant 4, you'll remember, all of our X values are positive, but all of our Y values are negative. So we need to have a negative in front of this 2. So all our y coordinates here are going to be negative. Let's do this now for e prime. e prime, our x coordinate is 1, and our y coordinate is going to be negative 1. And for f prime, because our y coordinate here was 3, our x coordinate is now going to be 3. And our x coordinate for f is 8. So for f prime, it will be negative 8, and again, that negative because it is in quadrant 4. The last thing we need to do is plot these points on the grid and then connect them with our lines to make triangle d prime, e prime, and f prime. So let's start with d prime. We have positive 7 on the x coordinates, so 2, 4, 6, 7, and negative 2, 1, 2. So here we have d prime, d prime. E prime is positive 1 here, negative 1 y, so E prime is right here. E prime. And F prime is positive 3, 1, 2, 3, and negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Puts F down here. Write F prime. And now you can take out your ruler and whoops your ruler and we'll connect these points with a line. So we'll connect D prime to E prime. Whoops, I'll have to get rid of that other line. E prime to F prime and F prime back to D prime to make a triangle here. And we'll just get rid of this extra line. There we go. So there we have triangle D prime, E prime, and F prime rotated 270 degrees counterclockwise. And that is how we rotate images. Thank you for watching.